Hello and welcome to my first physics video. All of the previous ones have been math, mostly calculus. But uh, I'm going to start with a physics uh, video with momentum, uh, specifically billiard balls, which are uh, giving some people some issues. So I'm going to make up some values of, I guess it's a billiard ball problem. It could be anything. It could be cars, whatever. But I'm going to make up values for mass and velocity. We'll see where it goes. So we're going to have a ball... A, that's uh, 0.2 kilograms, and ball B, that is 1 kilogram. Ball A is going to be at rest, uh, ball B is going to be at rest, ball A is going to hit it. So ball A is going that way, ball B is here. Ball A is moving with velocity of 22 meters per second, so pretty fast. Obviously that's 0 meters per second. So after the collision, A goes off this way, B goes off this way, Draw that dashed line there. And I'm giving that this is 19 meters per second. And that this here is 10 degrees. So what we need to do is we need to work out both the x and y directions. So x direction. Because of conservation of momentum, we know that max, vax, or I guess just ma, uh, e plus MB VBX equals MA VAX tick plus MB VBX tick. Okay, so the mass of A is 0.2 kilograms. And I'm working this one down in columns. I'm not going to solve for stuff. Uh, A is moving in the X direction, so. It's moving at a speed of 22 meters per second. This is at rest, so the velocity is zero. So plus zero equals mass of A is 0.2 kilograms. After VAX, well, we have VA going diagonally, so we need to use trigonometry. And I brought a calculator with me to figure this out. So this is 10 degrees, 19 meters per second. So that's going to equal 19 cosine of 10 degrees, that's 19 sine of 10 degrees. So 19 cosine of 10 degrees. Uh, I'm not sure how visible that is. 19 cosine of 10 is 18.711. So equals 18.711. While we're at it, might as well do sine 19 sine of 10 equals 3.299 meters per second. Okay, now uh, we're going to need to do the other one as well. So, there are two unknowns in this, so we're not going to be able to solve for anything. But we'll call this theta b, we'll call this vb tick. So, we actually can't do any calculations with that right now. I'll bring the calculator back in a second. So this is going to be VB tick cosine of theta B. This will be VB, I guess, prime. I like saying tick for some reason. So VAX right here be 18.711 meters per second. Plus, mass of B is 1 kilogram. VB in the X direction is VB prime cosine of theta B. VB prime cosine of theta B. So we're going to solve this for cosine of theta B right here. So cosine of th theta B, uh, VB prime cosine of theta B that is, equals. So we're going to multiply these, subtract that over, and then divide by 1, which would obviously just give us the same value. So going back to the calculator, we have 0.2 times 22 kilograms equals 4.4, or uh, 22 meters per second, equals 4.4 minus 0.2 times 18.711. Oops, that is a zero. 18.711. And divided by 1, obviously, it's just going to give us the same answer. 
So we're given that that the answer is 0.6578 meters per second. Okay, on to the y direction, since we can't do anything else with the x direction. So back to our equation, may, and I guess it's just ma plus vay plus mv, vby equals ma, vay prime plus mb, vby prime. I've got to start saying prime instead of tick. It's not right for me to say that. So these are both zero because neither of them are moving the x direction because remember that's just going in the x direction. It's not going in the y direction. Neither of them are moving in the y direction. So zero equals mass of A which is 0.2 kilograms times VAY. Well that's going upwards which is 3.299 meters per second. 3.299 meters per second plus one kilogram times VBY, which is VB sine theta B, which is VB sine theta B, hitting the edge of the paper there. So solving for VB sine theta B, that equals, we take 0.2 times 3.299 obviously divided by one, we get a shockingly similar answer. They're actually the same, almost. This one is 0 0.6598, which is really, really close to the other one. So these are our two equations, and we're going to solve. And I have checked this. I did this beforehand. So the, the results are, I, I didn't screw anything up, basically is what I'm saying. So we have these two equations. So we can solve for VB prime. So VB prime equals 0.6578 meters per second over cosine of theta B from that first equation. And then VB prime equals 0.6598 meters per second over sine of theta B. So we can put these equal to each other now. So 0.6578 meters per second over cosine theta b equals 0.6598 meters per second over sine of theta b. And I'm surprised those numbers are really similar because I just came up with them out of the blue. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides by sine. Sine over sine is 1. So this will be sine theta over cosine theta, which will equal tangent. So tangent of theta b equals, and then we're going to divide this over here, equals 0.6598 over 0.6578. And actually this should be a negative right here because it's going downwards because this should have been negative right here. So these are both negative. So to do this we take tan to the negative one of this value right here. So tangent to the negative one of negative 0.6598 divided by point six five seven eight equals don't know if you can see it well but it's a uh, almost exactly negative forty five degrees I'll just write down negative forty five degrees right here well, what does that mean that means that when this a hit B that's the angle that B went off at so now that we have four, uh, negative forty five degrees we can plug that back into this equation or this equation to find what VB prime is. So it's going to equal point, point 0.6598 divided by sine of 30, or sine of 45, negative 45 even. So once we get that value, when we see that it is negative point nine three three so negative point nine three three so that is our velocity and this video is very long so I've just got to come to there so negative nine or not negative nine just point nine three three and that is how you do a billiard ball problem